You can clearly see that I have a basket full of products that I have used up. These are literally all hair care and skincare related empties. So I'm going to give you guys many reviews of everything that I have in this uh, basket so that I can go ahead and recycle these things. Let's start with skincare. So first up is my Epiance Lytic Gel Cleanser. I have literally been using this cleanser for... I don't know, seems like three years now. I have gone through like three bottles. Um, I toggle between the Lytic Gel Cleanser and the Gentle Cleanser from Epiance. This is one of my absolute holy grail cleansers for my skin. Um, those who watch me here know that I tend to lean a more towards the medical grade skincare. Now I have been dabbling in a little bit of Sephora skincare here recently, but like over the last couple of years, I use medical grade skincare, things that would be recommended by a dermatologist or um, esthetician. So yeah, the Lytic Gel Cleanser is perfect if you have oily skin, especially for this time of year, love. This is the Diva, Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. This is for defi definition and control. I generally use these. Um, actually, I use this for my wash and goes and my twist outs. And I have been using this for same two years. As soon as it came out a couple of years back, I've been using it ever since. I absolutely love the way it helps elongate the, my curl and it hydrates. I It is pricey, like this size is $30, but it does last me quite a while and I already have two on backup. So it's something that I always use on my hair. So I'm giving you guys the tea, really. What I do to keep up with my skin and what I do to keep up with my hair. These are the products that I have used up obviously so so next is one that i don't really see people i haven't really seen anyone talk about this but um this is something that i started using about two or three years ago this is the bioderma hydrobio essence lotion now as soon as this came out i did pick this up off of the beautylish website you can kind of see that i have some left in here but the reason why is because I have so many skincare things, so I haven't been reaching for it, so I decided to go ahead and get rid of it. But what I will tell you that I do think that it is really good. So if you are shopping on the Beauty List website, go ahead and throw this in your cart if you are looking for an extra layer of hydration. So that's pretty much what essences do for me is they just add in um, a hydration to my skincare routine and help me maintain my barrier function. So. That's kind of what I use essences for, and this is actually very, very, very affordable. Right now, the essence that I'm using is the Tata, no, the Tatcha essence, and that one is quite expensive, but I love it. Eco Style Gel. This is the Black Castor and Flax Seed Oil. This is the Maximum Hold number 10. Um, I don't go through Eco Style Gel too often. Um, this one lasted me for a year um, because I really only use the Eco Styler for my edges because Eco Style Gel really does irritate my scalp. So for that reason, I don't use this in my wash and goes. This is just for edge control. Um, but I love Eco. Eco is the go-to for a lot of naturals and it was for me for a long time until I figured out that it irritated my scalp. So I can tolerate it around the edges, but like on my scalp, all over my head, I cannot do it. Skin. This is just my Shiseido facial cotton. I go through one of these like maybe every two or three months. Um, it's a staple in my skincare routine. I, I may use some in the morning and at night. I'm gonna go ahead and mention another skincare product since that, that that was since that was just facial cotton. These are the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch Invisible Plus. These are some pimple patches, basically. I specifically put these in my basket, my empties basket, to make sure that I talk to you guys about these because these are, you know, I do get occasional breakouts. Obviously, you know, I have one that I just got, you know, got rid of here recently. Um, like hormonal related, but acne patches actually really do work if you are wondering. And it's really been helping reduce the swelling and the size of the pimple like when it first formed. And I have used all of these because I will put it on in the morning and at night when I have an active breakout. And this is the pack that I've been using all year. Plus my friend uh, Sheena picked up some of the other ones that you get from Sephora that I've been using that has like dark spot treatment in it. So yeah, I love these. This is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask, and this one is the Hydration. So this 
you can see that it looks a little bit bigger than the one that uh, you can get on Sephora. This is the 16.9 ounce version of this, but the one on Sephora is eight ounces. Get it during the next Sephora sale, get it. I have been using the brand Moroccan oil for the last couple of years on my hair. I absolutely love the brand Moroccan oil. I love their hydration masks. Um, and I also use a few of their other masks, but this one is the hydration mask. I already have a backup. This is the large professional size tub because my mom um, owns a salon so I can get these sizes. So, so we're gonna keep these empties specific to skincare and hair care, right? So let's go ahead and talk about some masks. So I have been loving, y'all know, I love sheet masks, period. Love sheet masks. Um, but last year I got into um, hand masks and feet masks simply because we were not going to get pedicures. We were doing everything at home last year. So I got into it and I love it. These are the Nails Ink Thirsty Feet. And these I picked up at Target. These are ultra hydrating. You want those feet to be nice and supple on your self-care Sunday or whatever day you do your self-care routine. Um, leave these on for like 30 minutes. Girl, your feet butter. So yeah, love these. Then I also have the Thirsty Hands from Nails Inc. that I got from Target. And then they don't even sell these at Sephora anymore, but Sephora used to also have hand and foot masks as well. So I, I just love masks, period. So now I have a couple of sheet masks, just so you guys know which ones I'm always repurchasing. Like these three, I'm always repurchasing. Three sheet masks, um, two of the three are available at Sephora. The first one is the facial barrier mask from Dr. Jart. I like this one, don't love it as much as I love my Dr. Jart uh, water jet Vital Hydra solution. I used my Vital Hydra solution last night, um, kind of like as part of my pre-filming beauty routine. Um, Cause I want to make sure that my skin is on point from when I film, obviously. And then one that I discovered from a girl, Whitney Hendrick, I think Hendrick, that's how you, I don't know how you pronounce her last name, but uh, Whitney put me on to these. These are the Meta Heal NMF hydrating, intensive hydrating facial mask. And these are kind of like K-Beauty. And I purchased these in a pack off of Sephora, a pack of, I'm sorry, not Sephora. I purchased these in a pack of five off of amazon.com and i also picked up a pack of five of these during the vib sale time of these because i these these are like my favorite sheet masks right now period and i would say these are in second place the the k beauty ones so this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. Um, I really don't use Shea Moisture like that anymore, but this was a good one. It took me a long time to use up because I have another shampoo that's like my holy grail. Pretty much whatever skincare, body care, and hair stuff that I use, my husband used. But my husband was also using this and he um, likes it. This does do a good job at hydrating, but not as good as the one that I'm about to mention. Back to skincare. We're going to double up on the skincare because I have more skin than I do hair um, in here. So, you guys, you know you should be wearing a sunscreen, right? And so, a sunscreen that I have been using the most consistently over the last couple of years and have repurchased over and over and over again is the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum um, SPF number 46. And this one is... It's, it's perfection. It just makes your skin look good. It has niacinamide in it. It has zinc in it. It's just good. And it's great for protecting acne prone and hyperpigmented skin tones. Right now with um, the holiday season around, I would say that you should look for sales on skinstore.com. Skin Com and lovelyskin.com. But yeah, this is the Elta MD UV Clear and I absolutely love this stuff. Next from the brand Elta MD is a barrier protecting um, face cream that I absolutely love and will repurchase again, but I actually have been really loving my Skin Fix cream, but this one and my Skin Fix are like running neck to neck. This is the Barrier Renewal Complex. This is a ceramide and enzymatic cream. I absolutely love this. One of the things that I love about Elta MD is their packaging. The airless pumps are everything. You are able to get every ounce of product out of your packaging. And I just, Elta MD is 
the brand to go to for creams and sunscreens. Creams and sunscreens, if you ask me. I love Elta MD and I will always repurchase Elta MD. I really cannot see anything being better than Elta MD. Okay, a hair oil from a brand that I used to do a lot of work with, um, that I used to use a lot earlier in my natural hair journey. This is from the brand Hydrotherma Naturals. This is the hair growth oil with emu oil. I don't know if it grew my hair or not. I'm not gonna say that it grew my hair, but this is one that I would use on my scalp uh, when it got dry. So I have gone through this travel, travel size and I've previously gone through um, like a large, larger size of this oil. Now I make my own oil concoction. So I really don't buy, um, oils from other brands. So, but it's a good one. Hydrotherma Naturals, uh, black owned, small woman owned brand. I support them and they do have great shampoos and conditioners and oils. And I don't really know about their styling products, but their actual hair care products are great. Okay. Can we just talk about like one random bogus thing that I'm actually just kind of decluttering? This is called the Platinum Complex Facial Peeling from Bionix. And so basically the lady that worked at the mall kiosk got me, right? So you know how they'll put this stuff on the back of your hand and it'll stuff will peel up like they say it's dead skin. So this is what this is. I don't use this. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what company this is and I'm not putting this on my face. So I'm just gonna throw it away because it's a waste of money basically. Let's talk about my Indian healing clay. This, there's a corner left in here, but it expired in 2019. So yeah, I was just kind of going through like where I keep all of my beauty products in the bathroom and just going through products that have expired. And this was one of them. This is a staple in my hair care routine. I will do a ben bentonite clay mask every now and again, like no more than two or three times a year. Every now and again, I'll do a bentonite clay mask. And um, I love it because it is a detoxifying treatment for the hair. So um, it's been about six months since I did one actually about four months since I did one last so it's time I'm gonna talk about three skincare products that I let go bad on me and or I don't really use the first one I don't really use and I have um, cleansers that I love way more this is the origins frothy face wash this is the checks and balances. This is actually one that my husband was using. You actually get quite a bit of product, but you guys, I know I've been having this longer than 24 months. Plus I really don't enjoy using it. Plus we have a lot of facial cleansers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and no, I would not repurchase. Next up is from a medical grade brand that I love. Um, this is the SkinCeuticals LHA Cleansing Gel. Um, you are getting eight ounces of product. I don't know where it says the shelf life is on this, but I'm pretty sure it's past it. I have a lot of cleansers and this is a lactic acid cleanser and I love this cleanser. It's a gel formulation. It, it, it works. It, it does what it needs to do. And I just don't like the packaging because whenever you, you squeeze it, more than what you need comes out and then it comes dripping out of the cap. So that's like the only thing, but you're getting a generous amount of product, eight ounces of product. SkinCeuticals is well known. They are one of the authorities in vitamin C serums. And I love SkinCeuticals as a brand period. So if you are over 30, you really should be taking your skincare quite serious at this point. Cause I know I do. I don't play when it comes to my skin, like period. This is one of the other skin medica products that i actually love but i actually let it expire so i only use well i use quite a bit of it i use like two-thirds of the jar but it's supposed to be white and you can see that it's actually turning yellow so that's kind of pretty much how i knew that it had gone bad I don't see the expiration uh, date on here, but you are getting 0.5 ounces of product. This is a very expensive eye cream. Would I purchase this eye cream? Absolutely, but it's only one that I would use in the winter time because one of the things that I actually know now is that I'm prone to that milia, those little hard bumps that you can get under your eyes. And this is a very thick, a uh, creamy eye cream and I think it's like a hundred and something dollars and so I that's the part that I struggle with like I, I wish I can get like half this size because I would only use this during the winter time because I don't want to get that milia problem I actually had my milia extracted by my dermatologist earlier this year 
so yeah the tns eye repair is the bomb if you have super 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 dry under eyes and you are over 40 i'm not really understanding you need advanced skincare okay don't play with your skin especially your under eyes it's like one of the most delicate areas on the face tns eye cream love this stuff and yes i would totally repurchase all right so this is a hair care product this is like my holy grail shampoo this is the moroccan oil curl enhancing shampoo i do have a professional size this is like a 34 ounce and i already have another one So they do sell these at Sephora. I absolutely love the Moroccan oil brand. Um, I just can't say enough. This does a great job at helping me detangle my hair, y'all. I have a lot and I get a lot of tangles, um, mostly because I'll be wearing my, bun my hair in a bun for too long. But this is actually a really, really good detangling, moisturizing shampoo. And I really cannot rave enough. Like this is holy grail status as far as shampoo for my hair um, is concerned. And I love that I can get the professional size and they do sell these they do sell them at sephora but the largest you can get i believe is a 16 ounce i believe let's talk about two or three products that i actually did not finish i'm actually decluttering this is the l'oreal revita lift pure hyaluronic acid if you're looking for an inexpensive high actually this is not really inexpensive this is kind of like 20 dollars, but this was sent to me for review um so i did not have to pay for it but this is the l'oreal revita lift pure hyaluronic acid i'm pretty sure that it is expired by now so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of it but if you're looking for a heavy this is a heavy weight hyaluronic acid i will say it will be perfect for winter time then l'oreal has a good one um, another product that I did not finish um, simply because I just have a lot of skincare, but I actually really like this serum. This is from Le Levin Rose, and this is a rose hip night serum. It's really not a serum; it's an oil. Um, and I really do, I really do like incorporating rose hip oil in my skincare routine in the winter time, especially. Um, I love putting it on top of my moisturizer on my face, my neck, and my chest. Rose hip oil does something to my skin. It has my skin glowing like, like no other. So if you do have oily skin or acne prone, problematic skin, rose hip oil will not break you out or anything like that. Now, I don't use it as a moisturizer. I do believe in thoroughly moisturizing my skin. So I put it on top of my moisturizer. Um, and I, I would say it will be good for a standalone product for like the chest and and hand area at night. Um, I actually am currently using a rose hip seed oil from Good Molecules. Um, another product that I messed up on and I just wasn't using, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. This was a total waste. This is the Is Clinical Eye Serum. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. Basically, you heard right. It is a serum that you use up under the eye area. This is a targeted vitamin C epidermal growth factor balancing eye serum if you have a lot of under eye issues darkness all kinds of stuff and you want some heavy hitters and technically for like the high end medical grade this is actually affordable i think it's like 50 or 60 dollars um i do use the is clinical serum all over my face i have like their vitamin c i can't think of the name of it but it's a advanced pro hill i think that's what's called pro hill serum and i use it all over the face it's pricey but i feel like it's like a three or four in one type of product just like this eye serum so i love this i just wasn't diligent and i literally let money go down the drain but i will totally repurpose we i will totally repurchase this because i'm actually in need of an eye serum uh, and an eye cream right now i've used everything speaking of eye cream my absolute number one eye cream is from Elta MD. This is the Renew Eye Gel. It helps eliminate puffiness, dark circles, and wrinkles. It's a daily eye therapy. Um, a lot of this stuff is in line with the prices at Sephora. Um, half an ounce. I love that it is a pump because I really don't like sticking my fingers into things. Love that it's a pump. I'm definitely repurchasing this. I'm going to repurchase this and I'm going to get my eye serum. Those are the two skincare things that I need to purchase for my regimen. Um, love this because it has niacinamide. It has a little bit of lactic acid and ceramides and it's just a whole bunch of goodness and it is 
some of the best skincare that I have in my collection. Like the stuff that I'm talking to you guys about right now, like an affordable product. This is the Matrixel 10% HA, basically 10% hyaluronic acid. This is a peptide serum. I love this stuff. I purchased it again already. So this would be my second bottle of the Matrixel from The Ordinary. If you're looking for hydration, uh, peptides help with collagen synthesis, which makes this, you know, helps the skin be uh, repairing itself and nice and taut. So you want to add a good peptide into your routine. Love. Um, this is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Uh, it took me quite some time to read, to finish this up because I have a lot of cleansing balms and oils in my collection. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why, but I absolutely love this and I definitely could see myself repurchasing. And I love the fact that it, it's in a pump formulation versus like my bones, they are in a pot. So you have to like be in them, which is not really sanitary. So that's kind of why I keep going back to that. But the Dermalogical Pre-Cleanse is a very lightweight, lightly fragranced cleansing oil. And I love using, I always use an oil when it comes to cleansing my skin. I do a double cleanse, an oil and then a regular cleanser every time because we should be wearing um, SPF. So I want to make sure that we break down all of that uh, skincare and makeup off of my face. So yes, one last product. <laughs> so I have one last product and these are my cleansing cloths. These are from the Clean Skin Club. I have been using these since like 2018 or 2019. Um, I actually, I'm on my last box right now. So I need to go ahead and order. When I order, I do order like six boxes at a time. That way it will last me for months. One of the main reasons why I love using cleansing cloths and not my towels is because I prefer using only white towels in the house. Um, and when I'm wearing a lot of makeup, long wearing makeup, those, especially this lipstick, that can stain my towels and I cannot get that out of my towels. These are one and done. You use it. You don't have to worry about a buildup of bacteria in the towels, you know, the regular towels that you would be using because these are one and done um, and they are biodegradable. And I absolutely love the skin clean skin club. You guys know that I have been talking about them for years. That is going to wrap it up, my friends. I had a ton of things that I emptied out, but I kind of love um, when my basket starts adding up because I know that I have done a good job at using things up. You can clearly see that here today. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And until the next time, I will see you later. Bye.